This is the door preparation and installation guide for the Samsung SHB DS510 Smart Door Lock. The tools and parts required to complete this installation are listed in the instructions. Door preparation. Fold the template over the door edge and mark with a pencil. Using a ruler, ensure the centre of the latch hole and through hole are aligned horizontally. Now take your safety glasses, battery drill and spade bit. First, drill the latch bolt using a 25mm spade bit. This will help to avoid the timber splitting at a later stage. Make sure you keep the drill perfectly straight. Drill about 45mm deep. Then, using your 54mm hole saw, drill one side of the through hole. Stop drilling once the hole saw begins to poke through the opposite side of the door. Now, drill the remaining hole from the opposite side of the door. A quick clean of the sawdust gathered inside the door is recommended. You can now prepare the recess for the latch bolt. Insert the bolt. Fix the latch in place by drilling two screw holes and fastening the latch with the screws provided. Mark out a chisel guide around the faceplate. Unscrew the screws and remove the latch. Now chisel out the depth of the latch face. Door preparation is now complete. Installing the lock. Take note of which orientation the deadbolt will need to be installed, left-handed or right-handed. There must be more than a 50 mm gap between the door frame and the lock edge. Step 1. Adjusting the length of the deadbolt and tailpiece. Adjust the length of the deadbolt to suit either a 60 or 70 mm back set. Cut the tailpiece to the appropriate length for the thickness of your door. Step 2. Installing the deadbolt. Insert the deadbolt into the edge of the door. Secure the deadbolt using the two self-tapping screws provided. Step 3. Installing the exterior unit. Install the exterior unit, ensuring the key tailpiece direction is correct. Step 4. Installing the mounting plate. Bring the cable through the interior mounting plate. Fasten the interior mounting plate using the three long screws shown. Tighten the screws 90% of the way. Align the exterior unit with the interior mounting plate and tighten the screws. Caution, do not over tighten the screws and ensure you check the movement of the deadbolt using the key. Step 5. Installing the interior unit. Install the magnetic sensor, ensuring you use the correct socket for your door handing. Use the Sen A socket if installing on a right-handed door. Use the Sen B socket if installing on a left-handed door. Caution! Make sure the sensor is installed for the correct orientation of the door. Connect the black connector from the exterior unit to the interior unit. 
After connecting the cable, tuck the excess cable behind the interior unit. Align the body and install the black thumb screw at the bottom of the lock. Open the battery cover. Now fasten the two short screws provided inside the battery case. Caution! Check the movement of the deadbolt by the thumb turn and key. Now affix the door side sensor. Remove the protection film from the adhesive back and mount the sensor onto the door. Caution! The gap between the door frame and door side sensor should be no larger than 20 millimeters. Now mount the door frame sensor, ensuring the gap between both sensors is no larger than 20 millimeters. If the gap is too wide, adjust the sensor positions. Step six, installing the batteries. Install the four AA alkaline batteries included. Caution, do not use rechargeable batteries as they will damage the lock. A melody will sound when all four batteries are installed correctly. Step seven, installing the strike plate. Mark the strike plate holes with a pencil. Then drill a pilot hole for each screw. Next, use your 25mm spade bit to drill the main strike hole. Attach the strike plate with the two screws provided. Use the strike plate to mark out your chisel guide. Then remove the strike plate. Now chisel out the depth of the strike plate. Attach the strike plate with the two screws provided. If the door frame recess is deeper than the provided strike plate, you can install a sub-strike plate. Lastly, perform a final check by touching the screen and testing the 1234 star master code. Installing the lock is now complete. Programming the lock. Changing the master password. With the door open, start by pressing the REG button on the inside of the battery cover. The default master code is 1234 star. The lock will guide you to press 1 and star to change the master code. We are using an example code of 0000 star to demonstrate changing the code. The lock will confirm the code you have entered. Registering a user. With the door open, start by pressing the REG button on the inside of the battery cover. The default master code is 1234 star. The lock will guide you to press 2 and star to register a user. Follow the prompts and enter 1 star to add a user code. Choose your user between 1 and 100. In this example, we are using user 1 by entering 1 star. Present the RFID key tag card onto the lock where it says card. To register the next user, enter 2 star. Present the next RFID key tag card onto the lock where it says card. To register a PIN code user, we will use user number 3 by entering 3 star. As an example, we are entering a code of 5555 star. The lock will confirm the code you have entered. Programming the lock is now complete.